The most accessible ice on Mars is believed to be in the polar regions. Talk to us more about that. Will that affect exploration of the planet? Yep. Uh, first uh, is about water on Mars. Uh, that's not a new thing. Scientists have come up with a map of water ice in the shallow subsurface of Mars. It's just it could be just as thin as a few centimeters below the, the surface. Actually, not only ice, scientists report evidence that liquid water could flow on Mars. If there is liquid water on Mars, it is not a purely cold desert planet uh, as we understand today. So scientists hope that the Jurong rover can provide information about water ice in this area, in a searching area. And finding water is also about finding life. We know that life has not been found on Mars yet, uh, but more and more accumulated evidence suggests that the surface of Mars could once had liquid water on it and may have been habitable for life. So it is obvious that more we study about Mars, the more we learn how life could be hosted in the history and whether life can be supported in the future on Mars. And that's about human on Mars. Hmm. Uh, so NASA has hoped to send human to Mars at some point in the future. Uh, any human missions to Mars will have to take advantage of water ice for both drinking water and also making rocket fuel to fly back to Earth. Mm. The location of water ice will be a major consideration for potential landing sites of human missions, and water ice will, be, uh, will boost the next wave of Mars missions with the help of advanced technologies and international collaborations.